Hi, I'm Valerie. And I'm Mark. And we're at my home. Mark, did you know there's about 40 billion outlets in North America alone? I actually didn't know that, but I can tell you we have 80 of them. We have 80 in our own house. Huh? Yes. Well, when we first started controlling our outlets, uh, we started off with these uh, plug-in smart switches. So here's a, one of the early ones. As you can tell, it's really big. It takes up a lot of space. They've since made them a lot smaller, so they're much easier to deal with and, and can save a lot of space and much more efficient. But you know what really is nice is when you don't use these and you replace the whole outlet. Yeah, so we have actually done that in our house. We put both the Z-Wave controlled and the Wi-Fi controlled in-wall smart switches. You've probably watched some of the other videos we've produced about them. Uh, but today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about another company that we met at CES. And so this company, Swidget, what they've done with these outlets is that they've turned them into a platform. So you start with the Swidget smart outlet um, and that basically you install that in your wall and replace your current outlet. And then you can add these different inserts that give them different features and functionality uh, to make your house a smart home platform. And I'm going to talk about that in a couple of minutes and give you the more, de more details about those uh, inserts. Great. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Swidget. So as you look at the Swidget, there's the Swidget outlet itself. So this is the outlet that you wire into the house and replace into whatever outlet you want to do. And then it comes with these things called Swidget inserts. And the Swidget inserts, take a look at this. They, this one here is just a Wi-Fi insert. So it has a circuit board on there. And then what you do is you plug it into the outlet. So it makes the personality. If you look at this other Swidget here, this one here is a Wi-Fi one. It has what's called a power outlet. So what happens with this one here is if the power goes out in the house and this has been charged up inside the Swidget outlet, the light will come on and stay on. I think they said about an hour for that light to stay on. The other switch it outlet we have, or switch it insert we have, is called the guide light. Think of this like a night light. So you plug this in when the lights are off in the room, this light will light up. Now what's nice about these over here is that this one here is just Wi-Fi, but these other two that I showed you actually have Wi-Fi and the guide light and the power light, which means that I can control this outlet if any of these three Swidget inserts are installed. The other thing they have is they have Swidgets which are just a function. So in this case, it's a USB charger, right? So not much to this. It does not have Wi-Fi. It does not have Z-Wave. So you can't control the outlet when you want to plug one of these in, but you can use it to plug in your iPhone uh, to charge it. So that's kind of a nice thing. They have, so Z-Wave is the other protocol they support. We like that because we use Wink and smart things in our home, which means that we can use these outlets with our Z-Wave capability in the house. Now this one here is the Z-Wave with USB. So I mentioned this one here was had no capability to turn the outlet on and off. Because this one here is Z-Wave Plus compliant, that means that I can actually use the USB charger if I want, but I can also turn the outlet on and off by using uh, the Z-Wave and using the app that we use for our hub. The uh, other device that they sent us for uh, checking out is just one that does Z-Wave. So this one here, just like we saw for Wi-Fi, this one here is also Z-Wave Plus compatible. It has no other functionality though. It's just for turning the outlet on or off. Before you get started, please be sure to turn the power off at the breaker box. When you install the switch, the switch has a top outlet, which is always powered on, the bottom outlet, which is a switchable outlet if you have one of the switch inserts that either has Wi-Fi or Z-Wave capability. Uh, if you use one of the inserts that does not have that, you won't be able to switch the bottom outlet. It will always be on. What you do is you take the outlet, the switch it outlet, it comes with a black wire and a white wire out the back, a pigtail out the back, and it also has a screw for the grounding. So now what you do is you take the black wire inside your outlet box, you take the white wire in your outlet box, and you connect it to the same color on the switch it, and then you remember to take the ground wire in the outlet box and put it on the, the ground screw of the switch it outlet, mount this outlet back in the box, then you can go off and turn your power back on at the breaker box. Then you can install a Swidget insert into the outlet and pair that up using the Swidget app. Now, it only works for 
Wi-Fi switches. Only these switches can be installed using the app. Once you install the widget, which is very simple, you just hit the plus sign on the home screen of the, of the widget app and follow the directions on the screen. Once you name the widget, you can then come back to the home screen and now you can turn the lower outlet on or off by pressing the icon for that switch. The other widget inserts are Z-Wave capable and what you do here is you don't install it with the widget app that is only for the Wi-Fi widgets. Now you install this with whichever app you use for your hub. So we have Z we have a Wink Hub, and what you do is you plug in the Z-Wave uh, widget that you like. You plug it in. You go to the pairing part of your Wink app. You tell it to pair generic Z-Wave binary switch. It pairs up very quickly and easily. You name your, your widget, and now it can be controlled by the Wink app. The nice thing was, whether it's a Wi-Fi widget insert or a Z-Way widget insert, you can use it with Alexa. So all you have to do is say, Alexa, discover devices, and Alexa will find out what those widget names are, and then you'll be able to say it to Alexa to turn them on or turn them off. The widget outlet does provide for power monitoring. So if you have something plugged into either the top or the bottom outlet, you can actually monitor the power using the widget app. That means that you have to use a Wi-Fi insert to do this. But when you do it, you can calibrate the outlet so that it knows what zero power is. Once you're done calibrating the outlet, once you plug a device in, it will keep track of the power that's being used by that outlet and the app will actually let you go and look to see what that power consumption is. We've shown you just a few of the widgets that they're planning to have on the market. So right now these capabilities are out in the market, but they're also working on a motion sensor, they're working on a temperature and humidity sensor, a video camera capability, as well as things like aromatherapy or even Alexa that you can actually plug into your widget outlet. Uh, the other thing they're doing is adding not just Wi-Fi and Z-Wave, but they're actually coming out with a line of widget inserts that will be Zigbee capable. So no matter which of these three protocols you use in your home, you'll be able to use a widget with those. Uh, in order to really get these out there, because we're kind of thinking it may be difficult for them to get a lot of these widgets off the ground. It's a lot of, a lot of different uh, devices. So what they've done is they have a development program and the development program actually gets you a kit, and the kit includes a development board, some blank widgets, uh, all the design files you would need to go off and design and build your own widget. So we think that capability is really smart on their part because they can get the rest of the community building different functions that you can then add to your home. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included detailed product information, including links where to buy in the comment field below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank, Thank you. you.